Nobody has a clue what they are, and so you get some. Luke Dominate here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and we're in Willow, Alaska here with Wayfinder Kennels. And we've got Mr. Linwood and Miss Kathy here, and we are going dog mushing. Are you guys ready? Yeah! <laughs> all right. Look at all those dogs. Oh, God, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> 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 that guy's my favorite. This one's your favorite? You want to try to put a harness on? Her name's Weasel, and she's an eight year old lead dog. She ran, I did her out with me two years ago. So her head needs to come right through there, okay? There you go. Nice work. There you go. Come in, Yep. <laughs> Gotta rub his belly for him to stand up. He might okay, now he's up. I, there you go. Okay. Hold him right there. dogs are so excited it's like driving a muscle car if your car got irritated at you for stopping at red light <laughs> I just watched a dog running on its front two legs whilst doing the splits and pooping it was the most amazing thing <laughs> Tommy says he can taste the dog farts <laughs> All of these dogs are part of Gabe's actual race team and several of them have run the dinner ride multiple times. Yeah, these dogs like to pull. Gabe's just riding the brake. Check it out. If you didn't ride the brake, would they just go bonkers? Um, yeah, basically they're gonna speed up and go as fast as they want. And I wanna control that speed so that way it's nice and consistent speed. <laughs> Check it out. This is the parking brake when you're dog sledding. All right, we got afternoon traffic here in Alaska. Other commuters. So Gabe just told me that, that these dogs consume 15 to 20,000 calories when they're in race mode. That's why you don't see fat sled dogs. That's insane. It is. I need to start pulling dog sleds. I could just like eat Krispy Kremes like five times a day. Big guy, I call him my, my two for one package. Hey you guys doing good. You see the dogs biting snow and eating snow because they're so hot. These dogs are used to negative temperatures. Okay. What do you guys think? Is that pretty cool? Yeah. You're completely warm. I think he told my buddy. No. <laughs> All right, Tommy, you gonna ride? Tommy, are you excited? Yeah. One hand goes on to the all the time. It's a good place to stop. 
Look at you go. Perfect. Now we keep a little bit of pressure on that drag mat until the dog gets right on and comes up off your feet. You're lucky you're small enough. <laughs> I think Nathan's a natural born musher. When we get back into the yard, and then G means right, paw means left, and that comes from old mule driving. So Gabe's teaching the boys the dog sled commands. G to go right, paw to go left, and she makes a little kissy sound at him when she wants him to speed up. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get it down further. Here, let me, let me help you out there. There you go, Tom. I wanna sleep. You gonna sleep? I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> There's Mount Denali, the tallest mountain in North America, which is a little over 20,000 feet. Good oh, boy. I did like a little mashup with him and Ryan Reddington. So these dogs move at a pretty good clip. They go between 10 and a half to 7 miles per hour when they're doing an endurance race like the Iditarod. That's really fast for a thousand miles. Hold on tight. That home stretch, they can feel it. No, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna appear out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Gave these dogs a real nice workout. Okay, we'll take that off him. Good job. Hey, hang on here, bud. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh my. I think you got there it. There you go. There. We five. All right, it's time to pass out the salmon snacks. So they're nice little fillets of salmon, right? <laughs> Hand it to him, don't Hand hold it. it back. He's gonna snap at it if you pull it back. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have one of you guys pull here, okay? So we're yeah. gonna have you pull right here, okay? You want to <laughs> this is actually easier than I thought. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Holy dog, whoa. Aww, they're gonna eat your the, the secret formula here? <laughs> it is. That's 15 pounds of meat and about four pounds of beef fat. And the kibble's just a little leftover from breakfast. How many pounds of food do you go through a day? <laughs> 35 pounds of beef. Is this the entire sled of dog food here? Uh, this is for a Linwood Scroop, it is. Yeah. One meal. One meal. Okay, I'm gonna get a half. It's like a good half. Okay. Hang on. And there you go. This is good training if you guys ever want to have dogs. Eli is also going to get one and a half. Okay. Hi. Hey. Well, for a long time, Nathan has told me that his favorite animal in the whole world is a husky. I think is this pretty cool? Yes, it's the best day ever. 
So do you want huskies? You want, you want me to get you a bunch of huskies? Yes, I want a whole dog team. This is Gabe's racing sled here. So for a long distance running, we have some mandatory gear. Your first one's your axe. Um, you have to have booties for every single dog. All of my booties for? are bundled like this. What's the gun for? Why would we have a gun in the sled? Get, oh, bears, moose, bear, bears. Bears are hi hibernating, right? They're not around, moose. but you said bear. it, moose. So moose are really, really dangerous to the dogs. You guys might see mushers working with their dogs, pedaling, and I'm ski pulling, and pedaling, and ski pulling, and I'm literally helping the dogs. And we've got our cooking pot here, and then we can put our fuel down inside here, Josh. light it off. No, we use just put a little diesel in there or something? Um, or? We use heat. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so isopropylene alcohol, but I can load a dog in here. And then they get put in the sled, we close everything up, they're in a nice safe spot. <laughs> Sled dog racing is really popular here in Alaska and there's lots of different races, but the big one is the Iditarod. The official start of the Iditarod race is here in Willow, Alaska, and it goes a thousand miles all the way to Nome. And right now the Iditarod's going on and they're just in the last few days of the Iditarod race. Here, let me help you. Let me help you. Uh, that is a good sled. That, look at that. That's a that's a fast one. Well, we got a few minutes before dinner, so the boys wanted to do a little sledding on the hill behind the house. So we're gonna do some sledding. It went far. They got some distance. Isn't it awesome? Guys, <laughs> yeah. you check out the grizzly bear? Yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, a little. Mom, check out them. Too. I do. Alright, here. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> All right, check it out. We got some dinner here. You guys hungry? Mm -hmm. You know what those are? Those are moose. Yeah. <laughs> you like the burger? Yeah. Best burger in the world. Right yeah. Here, I don't know. Same thing. I'm skinnier than that. Oh, red side. The cranberry fluff is good. <laughs> Look at this. We got some blueberry cobbler here. This looks mm -hmm. amazing. Look at that. Who's it? Oh. <laughs> We've done some mushing, we've learned the basics, we've got a belly full of moose burgers and good food, and we're gonna, we're gonna go out and do some camping. Here, let's go. Give me your hand, I'll help, I'll help. Oh. There you go. There you go. Nice. Come on, Tom, the dogs can pee while running. You should too. <laughs> 
Nathan, you want to ride with me? Yeah. All right. Tommy, <laughs> you're going to ride up there? There we go. I have a, I wanna, I wanna you want to have eight of them, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I want to jump off, but then I'll hold it. I heard that too. <laughs> <laughs> I did that on purpose. Welcome to camp. This is where we're going to be spending the night tonight. This is going to be really cozy, and I am so excited that I didn't have to set up the tent. They got three of these Arctic oven hot tents, and we got our own tent over there. And that's going to be real nice. Those tents are super warm. And they got a little picket over here for the dogs. Got to hold on tight. The two had a job. Sleep on. Make sure you spread it out like that. All right. And Let's then go. he pees on and it. And then pee on it's it. His. It's his. You want some more? <laughs> We're gonna need a little bit more, I think. You hanging out with Double Time? Favorite dog. Yeah. Double time's my favorite. They got five gallon buckets to sit on. This is this glamping, is, man. This, this is, is the luxury stuff. Right. Butt cushions. <laughs> this is a man who has been trained in the hospitality arts. <laughs> Look at this. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. To the stubble. Stubble. Oh my goodness. Look at these marshmallow sticks here. This is professional grade. Choose your weapons. I, I bet I could kill a deer with this. You could kill a deer with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... And so you get somebody to get a, a deer. Yeah. We're sitting here by the fire and the dogs are growling at something in the shadows. <laughs> Okay, I read Call of the Wild one too many times. We're about to be attacked by wolves. I've seen this. I know how this ends. Well, it's getting a little bit late, guys, so I'm going to get the tent all ready for the boys' bed, and uh, we're going to get ready to get snuggled in for the night. Well, I brought the boys' bunk beds with me so that we could all sleep together in the same tent, and I'm just going to get this together real quick. Yeah, really well. There's your double-decker cot. I took it off all the way. <laughs> all right, Nathan, you good? Are you warm? Well guys, it's late and we're all cuddled into our sleeping bags in a nice warm hot tent. And this tent is heated with a propane heater instead of a wood stove like I have. So we could just leave this on low all night long and don't have to fuss with it. It'll keep us warm all night long. Exhaust pipe out the top so we don't have to worry about carbon monoxide. Well, I'm gonna turn off the lights and go to bed. But before I do, I'm gonna set up a time lapse outside. Now you guys get to enjoy that. I'll see you guys. and chilly here but it is beautiful oh, let's see how the dogs are doing good morning guys it's funny those dogs are so rowdy when we go to harness them up but they were just quiet and calm all night long i'll go see if my boys are up yet good morning tommy how you doing good it's nice and warm in here huh yeah, we're only using like one burner. There we go. Oh, oh, deep down in there. Oh, hey, Nathan. This is a bona fide musher cooker, right? This is a bona fide one. one. Sticks are ridiculous for, for melting down into the. That looks like an old dog bowl. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we got a frozen block of ice there. Yep, put that in there. 
Hawks are wick. You guys don't know what this is. This is bottles of heat. It's what you put in your car to keep the gas lines from freezing. So it's something that every good Alaskan has on hand. Yep. It's isopropyl alcohol. Not drinkable. But it burns very hot. That goes on here. All right. We're going to heat that water up. And then we're going to put our meals in. This is moose sausage with peppers and onions and cheese and eggs. It's already cooked. Oh, well, pre-cooked. Okay. Okay. So it just needs to get warmed up. Nice. And it's nice you don't have to worry about keeping them frozen, do you? That's I'm living in a big refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan's so jazzed to go cuddle huskies. <laughs> didn't, didn't get dressed. Nathan really is built for winter camping. He's, that kid's warm. <laughs> This dog really loves cuddles. Oh, which one's this? I forget. This. Aurora. This is Aurora? What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, Tommy, it, it looks like none of the dogs were eaten by wolves in the middle of the night. Yeah, I counted them. That's, well, that's great. We, we've been obviously reading too many Jack London novels. I see their fangs. You gotta give these guys. Yeah, be quick about it before you irritate them. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> Is that gone already? Jeez. Yeah. Hey boys, are you ready for hot chocolate? Yeah. All right, that's what I thought. <laughs> you have to stir it up. Okay. It's all on the bottom. Hard for me to get out my kennel and like deal. Two. And do you guys want spoons or forks? You guys are gonna eat like a race team. Oh my goodness. There's no time for There's spoons no and forks and, forks. and plates. You just squeeze it out like <laughs> Yeah, squeezable. <laughs> yeah, squeezable breakfast burrito. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's good. Mm. Yeah, moose sausage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. sausage, right? right? Yeah. Kind of breaking down camp, getting things picked up slowly, taking it easy. You enjoying the dog petting, Dom? Yes. <laughs> All right, got to get our stuff packed up and the cot put away. Oh. Yeah, I'm just sitting here cleaning up and those boys are just over there petting and petting and petting. Those dogs aren't going to have any fur left on them by the time those boys get done. <laughs> you excited, huh? <laughs> Guys, you know how far we did? How far? We did 32 miles. Oh my God, 32 miles? Probably two and a half hours. Eh? Hey. hey Nathan, what do you think? You still want a husky? Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, thank you, thank yeah. you so much, Gabe. We had just a great time. I had a wonderful time with you guys. Yes. And, and thank you so yeah, much. Definitely. Oh, can you come and set up all my campsites? <laughs> I just. Yeah, well, thank you so much. We had such welcome. a great time. If you guys want a really authentic dog mushing experience, it's going to be really hard to beat Wayfinder Kennels here in Alaska. So definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the video description below. Tom. Did you have a good time? Yes. 
Listen, I hope you guys had a good time too. If you want to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, make sure to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Click subscribe. Nailed it. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching. Right. Get him with the tail! Pour with the tail! Here, Tom. Let me, oh. Here, let me help you. Oh! 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 oh. oh.